fellas, it's your boy Johnny. Just want to say thank you, man, for your patience. I know I've been gone for a week. Hey, man, I'm on vacation. You know, I just took a week off to distress a little bit. As you can see, I'm not in New York. I'm in my hometown of Albuquerque. But that is three outfits. Hey, man, I don't know how to dress. No one really does. Just wear what you want, man. But let me just tell you what I like to wear for a date. So I already know I made a video on why I wear more street-esque fits on dates, but I've been more into the simple lifestyle, so that translates to my outfits as well. So all these outfits are very minimal. That's just what I'm on, man. And with each outfit, I went to three different cities, three different spots, so you guys might get an idea on what you can do for a date. For this first outfit, I went to Gantry State Plaza Park. It's in LIC. You can also go to Dumbo Brooklyn for a date. If you take a shorty there, man, she's gonna love it. But for the top, I'm wearing this Henley from Essentials. Henleys are a great addition to any of y'all's wardrobe. Definitely recommend not going super extra fitted on this one. The drapier, but still slim look. Looks really good, especially if you wear a ton of accessories. And I know some of y'all are probably like, Johnny, what are you doing, man? It's summer. Hey, man, relax. I gotta film these outfits for y'all, alright? So, I definitely recommend only wearing these Henleys during night dates. Now the next piece is plain black denim. Stretch, of course. And then these all white leather sneakers. All white leather sneakers are such a huge contrast to anything you wear. So it color blocks really well. And to me, wearing plain white sneakers gives off this very positive vibe. Like, you know when a video starts with this track right here? You know it's a good positive video. So yeah, man, white leather sneakers perfectly gives off that vibe. Now before I tell you where I get all these pieces from for my next outfit, I don't ever go on a date without smelling good. So whether that be wearing deodorant or some fragrance, but for me, it's both. Deodorant so I don't sweat and smell like a New York sports club full of teenagers, and then a fragrance to, you know, leave an impression. A smell other than laundry detergent. Before, I didn't wear any fragrance, and yeah, I was that guy that smelled like laundry detergent. Nothing wrong with that, but I never really got the you smell good compliment until I started rocking a scent. So this video is sponsored by Semper, and I used to not be about rocking cologne or any fragrance whatsoever. I thought it was too expensive, and I'm a collector. Just look at my sneaker collection. I didn't want to spend thousands of dollars on scents where one bottle lasts years. Sneakers, you can resell and get your money back. Fragrances, it's a little harder to convince someone to buy your thick bottle. That's why Semper finally closed that gap for me. I stand behind it. So the way it works is they are a monthly subscription-based company. Each of these lasts over a month. They're basically around 120 sprays, and you get a new one every month or more if you want to upgrade. So you get to try a ton of fragrances for only $15 a month. And they got your girl too. Wouldn't recommend this on a date. I wouldn't be that guy. That's a good way to get rejected. But look at this. It's TSA friendly. You don't have to get those TSA employees with their pissed off face ripping through your bag saying, sir, please don't touch the bag. You don't have to worry about it breaking in your checked bag. Sampered provides this super clean, minimal design twist case with the fragrance of your choice. And bro, they work with the actual companies like Gucci, Hugo Boss, and Dolce... Dol... Dolce... <laughs> the name brands. So there are no fakes, nobody likes fake friends or fake products, and this month I received this Rag & Bone, Brown, Kenneth Cole, and Dolce G Dolce G and trust me, these go hard. You're also gonna get those compliments of, hey, you smell really good, and that alone is an icebreaker for a date. You don't even have to break the ice yourself. So click the link in the description and use my discount code FWJT30. You're gonna get 30% off, it helps your boy, and that means your first month is $10. You're welcome, brother. So this second outfit is a very comfy outfit and one of my favorites. Y'all know I love these pants from Black Taylor. I wear it a lot and for good reason. One, it's cuffed like a jogger and tapers down really nicely. You can do the crew socks over these pants real easily. The joggers are pretty much dead, but I'd say these ones are fine. Just don't be rocking those PacSun orange khaki joggers. Those are not what's up. But these are a camel print, so it should definitely be the focal point of the outfit. So with that, I just rock a very simple sneaker. One, like the Yeezy Power Phases. Still one of my favorite kicks out there, and they're really cheap. The Adidas Continental 80s are a great alternative as well for different colorways. Otherwise, they're pretty cheap and one of the least hyped Yeezys out there, which I actually prefer. For the top, it's a shirt I got from Urban Outfitters and it just says mentally gone. I don't know man, some people be feeling that way. I'm sure all the Game of Thrones watchers felt that way about the ending. But hey man, that's why you should be watching Breaking Bad, man. Ten times better. And speaking of Breaking Bad, as you can see, I'm in my hometown. And for this day, I just took my girl around all of Albuquerque to see all the Breaking Bad locations. But for you, if it's date number one, keep it plain and simple, man. Don't go crazy taking her out to a super expensive restaurant. Y'all just getting to know each other, man. I also picked this shirt because I wouldn't recommend wearing a huge clashing pattern. You do you, but in my opinion, it's not what's up. Either way, I like this shirt because mentally gone is just a good conversation starter as well. Like since having a good graphic tee really can help break the ice. It's also in this nice kind of vintage wash that I really like. Definitely recommend a nice graphic tee like this. Simple, breaks the ice, and it looks super clean. Now this last outfit I like to call the wholesome outfit. So I'm showing love to my homie Christian with his Respect Women clothing brand. Come on man, any girl you take out on a date is gonna be feeling this shirt. 
wholesome. She's already gonna get a good feel for you and you've already made that good first impression. I know my boy Christian has a new capsule dropping very soon so check out his channel for updates. For my pants I'm wearing plain simple light wash denim from Hyper Denim, stretch of course, cuffed and rocking them with the same white leather sneakers from earlier. And on this date man me and my girl we just went to check out Chicago, you know the lakefront, the bean, navy pier, deep dish Giordano's pizza. Now each of these outfits had accessories, definitely recommend rocking them on dates as well. It's also a good conversation starter or a way to deflect the conversation. Overall this whole Awesome outfit has been one of my favorites as of late. All right, fellas, those are three outfits I'd definitely be rocking on dates. Look, man, wear whatever you want. It doesn't matter if it's streetwear, dapper, or casual. All that matters is your confidence, man. Have some self-awareness. Rock it based on the occasion. Stick with the simple dates. Stick with the simple fits. Be chivalrous and hold your ground with the conversations. Then you should be all right, man. If you guys want to see a video on how to crush a date, give this video a like. Follow your boy on Instagram at flywithjohnnytop. And until then, stay fly. Make sure you guys check out Semper, and I'm out, bruh. Peace. Ah!